Jaguar training camp, Thursday practice in the book. Ryan the Hacker Green for 1010XL with Andrew Dewey Wingard. All right, it's game day almost, right? Saturday, Dallas comes. How have the last two weeks gone of camp? It's gone good. Um, you know, it's kind of feels kind of repetitive now being a vet kind of coming into camp and not being as nervous as I used to be kind of just it's the job now and it's fun it's enjoyable and uh it's exciting to start thinking about playing a game start to get a little excited a little nervous stuff like that it's it's all good energy so we're excited to get out there and uh see what it feels like to play football again you know I want to talk about your contract extension in a moment but you live the life of an undrafted free agent you know what these preseason games are like how valuable they are what kind of guidance do you give the guys that are undrafted about these games you shouldn't see you should never see a season game versus a preseason game you should treat every game the same there's no difference you're going out you're trying to do your job play as hard as you can so that's my advice and that's how even whether I play whether I don't play I'm going I'm ready to play football from an undrafted free agent to where you are now a brand new contract extension what did that mean to you this offseason when the organization you know did what they did and extended you to have a longer career here yeah first off I got to thank God wouldn't be here without him um, and it's just a you know, a testament to hard work. And um, I remember when I went undrafted, I was like, still had the vision in my mind that I was going to make it. And and uh, I stuck to it. And uh, here I am. I have a four-year-old at home. He knows two players. He knows Trevor Lawrence <laughs> and he knows Dewey Wenger. I mean, rock star, whatever verbiage you want to use. Have you ever sat back and like, wow, from an undrafted free agent to a to a fan favorite here in Jacksonville, that's quite a, a rise. It's cool. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, whether it's good, whether it's bad, I was always just me. And being myself is what um, has got me to this point, and it's going to be what continues to get me where I want to go. So um, if I was to tell your son anything, just be himself. <laughs> Let's talk about this defense year two from Mike Caldwell. What have you seen differently from the coaching staff uh, from last year to this year? Um, really just more communication with each other. Um, obviously, it was our first year together last year. It was Mike's first year as a uh, as a D coordinator in the NFL. So um, there's always things to work out. But I can definitely see that he's come back really confident this year, um, whether it's with the calls, whether it's just communicating with the guys. But, you know, you know, being in that room every day, I really like this defense. I mean, I think we could be a group that could jump on people without um, – you know, not a lot of preseason hype with this defense, but I know we work together as a unit and Coach Caldwell and all of our coaches, Coach Towns and uh, Cody Grimm, they're all really smart X's and O's guys. So I think when we get into the season, we could, uh, you know, we can really be something. That safety room with you and Cisco and Jenkins and Daniel Thomas. Oh, I know a lot of people love Antonio Johnson. I mean, that's a pretty good room, right? And, you know, Antonio's not just a safety. I mean, he's been looking really good playing that nickel spot. Um, so we got a lot of experience, a lot of good guys, a lot of great camaraderie in our defensive back room not just with the safeties but with the corners as well and uh like i was just saying i really like where we're at we got a lot of depth and uh it's just really fun it breeds a lot of confidence with each other so uh it's exciting a couple of more for andrew wangert as we get ready for the jaguars and dallas saturday five o'clock you'll hear the game on 1010 xl radio ease the minds of the fans a little bit they're a little concerned about the pass rush do you want to put their minds at ease a little bit <sighs> I will just say this. Fans are always going to be fans. Fans don't see what we see. Um, you know, fans like to talk. They like to speculate. And that's what you do. People love football. But they're not in this building every day. They don't see what we see. They don't know what we know. We're confident. It's a good quote, man. And that should re 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 uh, recharge the fans a little bit on that topic. Along those lines, too, iron sharpens iron. Mm -hmm. Every day Absolutely. you're out here with Calvin Ridley and Zay Jones and Christian Kirk and Ingram. I mean, you name it, ETN. What is it like going against that offense for you guys? You know, it's funny you say that because I found myself just kind of daydreaming the other day, just sitting back at home. I was like, this is like the best training camp ever because we are going, in my mind, we're, I, we're going against the best offense in the NFL every day honestly um and you know people obviously could debate me on that with some of these offenses out there in kansas city and, and cincinnati but i'm telling you when you got to line up against these guys every day it's truly like you said iron sharpens iron and i think we're getting the best look every day and i would hope they would say that about us on defense because you know we've been balling pretty well in camp so it's been a really good you know kind of ebb and flow between the offense and the defense getting these looks and and like you said when you see those guys lining up and you get used to that speed and practice it'll only make the game easier do is we wrap up what are you looking to accomplish on saturday for yourself and this football team just go ball out don't think don't think and you know don't think for a second just go ball out do your job have fun bring juice let the scoreboard end up where it may 
It was always the Jags. It was always the Jags. And I'm going to trademark my next saying for this year. So I'm going to think of it, trademark it, then I'm going to say something crazy and it'll work out. So My four-year-old says it all the time. Andrew, appreciate it, brother. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.